This is a demonstration of how to connect your trolling motor to your battery. So here we have a VMAX AGM battery with a Minn Kota trolling motor. And we're going to be connecting a circuit breaker in line. Circuit breaker is going to protect your trolling motor and it's highly recommended to use one. So basically you're going to take your trolling motor leads You've got your negative and your positive. So the first thing you're going to do is get your battery bolts ready. So on this battery, we have the optional wing nut terminals. So we'll insert those here. Once your bolts are placed, you can start connecting your circuit breaker to the battery. And you're going to need a battery cable. Here we have a V-Lynx cable. I want to connect that on the positive side. Take a ring nut and secure that down. Okay, the next step is you take your circuit breaker, choose any of the sides, it doesn't make a difference which side you choose. Okay, so now we have our circuit breaker secured on the positive side. And you always want to put your circuit breaker on the positive side. Next, we're going to take the positive trolling motor lead and connect that to the other end of the circuit breaker. Okay, now if you have a battery box, you could mount this circuit breaker to the battery box or whichever mounting position you prefer. And now that we have the positive side connected, we're going to take the negative trolling motor lead and connect it to the negative battery bolt. We secure that with the wing nut terminal, and that's 